What is going on guys, Randall419, the man with the million, back again with another daily video. Hope everybody's having a fantastic start to their weekend. I know I am. I got two big games on the docket to play, Last of Us on my PS4 and Tekken 7 on my Xbox One. Look out for reviews for those games soon. But this video is going to be about a singular game, a game that I think has the most potential, a possible ace in the hole for Xbox this year, and that is Crackdown 3. Now, my last video, if, if, if you missed it, was my prediction, my E3 Xbox prediction video. And I in it, I talked about the first party games that we know are going to be there. And one of them is Crackdown 3. And I totally forgot to give a release date in the prediction video. So I'm going to say it here. I think Crackdown 3 launches with Scorpio. And I'm confident that Scorpio is going to be coming out at the end of October. So like October 26th or whatever. I think it's coming out this year. And I think it is going to surprise a lot of people, and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna turn a lot of people into fans of the series. I, I am this is the game that I am most excited for. I am super pumped for Crackdown Three, because I I think they're going back to the original vision of Crackdown. Now, if you guys remember Crackdown One, uh, which was developed by Real Time Worlds, came out in two thousand seven. Everybody bought that game because it came with. Halo 3 beta access. Everybody pretty much in the world was like, well, I'm going to get this game because I want to play Halo 3, right? And it just so happened that Crackdown was a fantastic game, and people realized that. Um, unfortunately, when Crackdown 2 came out in 2010, uh, it wasn't a very good game. I hear the dev time for... Cra they didn't give uh, the devs a lot of time to make Crackdown 2, so maybe that's why it wasn't as good. Plus, they used the same city but with zombies and it just wasn't a good game but it's been a while 2010 was crackdown 2 we're in 2017 i think it's going to come out this year so we're in a seven year gap and this is the game i am most looking forward to on the xbox this year out of their first party games um i know i mentioned before i am a huge fan of story driven games but i also enjoy playing uh co-op with my buddies i enjoyed playing ghost recon uh this past march with my buddies uh, Maka and Gopher and a host of other people because it's fun to play co-op and just have a good time. And I think Crackdown 3 offers that in spades. This idea of playing multiplayer, four-player four co-op and going around, in, going around the city, collecting orbs, leveling up your agent and just wrecking mayhem sounds like a ton of fun to me. And this game is doing something unique. Now, we know when, when David Jones came out in 2014, when, when they originally uh, gave out the CGI trailer for this game, they talked about you know using the power of the cloud, and we haven't heard much about that since. But, but this is supposed to be the game that is leveraging the power of the cloud. Now, Cloud Engine is doing uh, that type of stuff, but from what I understand, Reagent Games is the one actually developing the gameplay art, the gameplay and, and assets and things like that. And I also heard like Sumo Digital is working on the game as well. So you have three studios working on the game. Now, that could be wrong, but that is just what I have heard. So there's three studios working on the game. Uh, Joseph Staten is writing the story. He of the Halo fame. He also wrote a little bit of ReCore. So I'm, I'm confident that the game will have a better story than the first two. But what I'm looking forward to the most in this game, what I think a lot of people are looking forward to the most, is that destructibility in the multiplayer version of the game that they have touted since this game has been revealed. The idea that you can play in this multiplayer and go through the city and basically destroy anything and everything, whether it's the tallest building or you know vehicles and boats, uh, mid-size, and just like knock buildings over, crash them into each other in some of the videos we've seen, is really unique and not done by really any other game out there. I know like Red Faction kind of had that destructibility in the campaign and Battlefields had that here and there, but never on a scale like this before. So the idea of screwing around with four of my best friends on the Xbox as we just wreck havoc and knock down huge buildings, that to me seems like it could be a lot of fun. And I mentioned before, Ghost Recon. Even though the game is mediocre, even though the game has no story, and I gave it like a 7 out of 10 because of those reasons, it was still a lot of fun 
for about 20 hours. I had a blast playing with my friends. And sometimes playing co-op can alleviate uh, some of those things, right? Now, I do have some concerns with the game. Uh, there's talk of a single-player mode and multiplayer mode being separate. That the destruction won't carry over to the single-player mode because it won't uh, leverage the power of the cloud and... Does really the multiplayer mode actually have the campaign just like the single player? We don't know. We'll get more info this year at E3, hopefully. But I, the more I think about this game, even though we haven't seen anything about it, the more I get excited for it. Now, I should also mention that I had heard from a trusted insider source who has given me correct information in the past that they have played the game and the game is amazing. Quote unquote, amazing. And it's going to surprise a lot of people. I hope that is true. Because Xbox kind of needs that injection right now. A game that gets people talking. Yes, yeah, Sony has a lot of those uh, grandiose first party uh, story driven huge games, right? And I'm looking forward to playing those games now that I have a PS4. But Xbox does multiplayer games... Uh, pretty damn good. Halo 5 Guardians to me is one of the best multiplayer games of the gen. People love Gears 4. So Microsoft does multiplayer games in a way that Sony doesn't. And that's not a diss at either company. It's just saying that their focus seems to be on different things. So hopefully we get a crackdown where it is just an absolute blast to play and people are having a good time blowing shit up together with their friends, streaming it on Mixer, getting a huge audience to watch, making other people jealous or other making other people want to play that game and then they go out and buy it. I think it's I think it's a smart decision also if, you know, in, in my opinion, this is my prediction to launch it with Scorpio because I I feel it's a type of game that could withstand the onslaught of say Call of Duty or uh, the new Need for Speed, which just got announced for November 10th, or Star Wars Battlefront, or Shadow of War. Like, this is a different game than those. You know, even though every game is always competing for your time and money, at least Crackdown 3 isn't a first-person shooter. Or You know, like, it's, it's something different. It's something unique. And I hope that they tout these features and they, they properly explain the game at E3 to get everybody excited. And I think one of the reasons I'm excited is because, honestly, we, we haven't heard much about the game at all. Outside of that trailer in 2017, outside of those like kind of behind-closed-doors footage we've seen, I think that's why I'm excited because, you know, taking what I've little we've heard, but then, you know, uh, taking what I've heard from other people, it's getting me excited for this game, honestly. And... I know people will say, well, Ran State of Decay 2 is one of those games to look forward to. I didn't play State of Decay 1. I know, my fault. One of the games I passed on last gen. So I'm not really excited at this point to play this one. But I really like Crackdown 1 a lot. I thought that game and the gameplay loop in it was fantastic. Chasing orbs was so addictive. Hearing those sounds of those orbs that would make and you look around to find them. And then go and chase them down was so thrilling. And hopefully they bring that back. But expand upon it and have this huge playground where me and my friends can just go freaking crazy. Level up our guys, chase those orbs down, have a good time, destroy stuff. Yeah, man, like the more I think about it, the more I think that... This could be the game Xbox needs right now. A really fun open world multiplayer destruction game that is unique. You know, as much as I would love a huge story driven game from Microsoft, and hopefully we get one revealed at E3 this year. Hopefully we do. But out of those games that we have announced right now, I think this is the one that could be the race in the hole. If it's really good, of course. I mean, I mean obviously, if the game is not any good. Well, <laughs> nobody's really going to care. But I have this feeling, I have this hope that Crackdown 3 is going to be the game that people look at and be like, that's the reason I want an Xbox. Even though I know you can play it on PC. But even if you can't play it on PC, just get it on PC. Have fun with the game. It doesn't really matter where you play it, if you play it on Xbox or PC. Maybe they show off some 
improvements they made for Scorpio to be like, yep, that is the reason I'm getting the Scorpio. I want the best version of Crackdown 3 I can play because that game looks fantastic. I can't wait to play it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you excited for Crackdown 3 as much as I am? What games are you looking for, looking to see more of at E3 this year? Let me know in the comments. And as always, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider subscribing for more content. As it really, really does help with the channel. Uh, you know, it helps me get more different types of games for reviews so I can do better things for you guys. So that always helps. And uh, I will see everybody later.